Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. While you're here in the high country, it is the most important that you're staying safe while you're out there skiing and riding. And if you happen to like the backcountry experience, even more important that you're staying safe out there. And one of the best ways that we stay safe is with the help of our Vale Mountain Rescue. Here with me this morning, Dan Smith. And now you are always on high alert, you know, oh, yeah. around tw around the clock. We have this, this wonderful group of volunteers that helps to keep us safe. You, you, you never have to call and put us on standby. We're there. Right. But now exactly. we're 45 minutes away from you at right. a minimum. We're 45 right. minutes away from starting because nobody's sitting there waiting for you to make a mistake. Uh, so it's just critically important that you don't do things alone. We had a mission this week. A uh, couple was skiing in Molloy Park, which is out of Minturn, and it's a nice packed uh, skate ski trail, 200 yards down the trail. Uh, gentleman took a digger or something and anyway fell hard enough to knock himself out. Uh, he had some underlying medical conditions. Now, the person he was with skis back out the trailhead where she gets cell phone coverage, calls 911. Everything's good. Everybody, fire gets there, we get there, Ambie gets there, get the guy out, get him in the Ambie, get him in the hospital. If he's alone, it's a totally different outcome. So just don't do things alone. Skiing on Vail Mountain, don't ski alone. It's, it's not near as much fun as skiing with somebody else and it's a lot safer. Now, something else that has really started to come up um, is the avalanche danger. Oh, yeah. And I think that, you know, a lot of people that are, you know, skiing in bounds, it's not something that you necessarily pay attention to as much. But if you're going out for some of those backcountry experiences, oh, yeah. obviously this is the utmost importance. Oh, it is. The storm that came in dumped about two feet of snow at altitude. Uh, this loads up the underlying snow and creates pressure. If you're skiing along and you happen to hit exactly the right spot, you're going to release that pressure. You're going to release it right on top of yourself. This is not a good thing. And sometimes the release point can be a couple hundred yards above you and you just happen to hit the wrong place, wrong time. Again, not doing things alone is, is critical. Uh, most people who survive an avalanche survive because their partners rescue them. Uh, one of the, the things we always say is, let's see, I've got a really good beacon. You've got a kind of an old beacon here. Let's swap because the good, any beacon transmits, but you want the good beacon looking for you. So uh, what hurts people in avalanche most, just like climbing and anything else, is the inability to say no. It's a group dynamic that gets people in places they shouldn't be. You work like hell to get to the top of uh, Uneva Peak and you do your tests and it says don't go and you say, oh no, we worked so hard, let's go anyway. That's the wrong answer. That mountain will be there tomorrow, it'll be there next year, it'll be there next week. And if you make the wrong decision, you might not join, be joining it. Right. So the ability to say no is perhaps the key tool to survival in avalanche terrain. Just don't go when it's bad. And also really quickly, you know, you brought, you, you printed out some information from the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. And this is something you can find, just Google Colorado Avalanche Information Center. But even, you know, when it's, when it's not necessarily high danger, no. you're saying that that's, that's still something to be, in, Mo you know, Most people will with. look at high danger and say, oh, it's high, I won't go. And they'll see considerable and say, okay, I'll go in considerable. Considerable is, is almost as bad as high. Uh, high, it's going to run. Considerable, it could run. Uh, it doesn't much matter. The best survival technique for an avalanche is not to be in one. There you go, right there. Don't be in one, don't go alone. Stay safe while you're here in the high country. We want you coming back for years and years of adventures. Dan, thank you so much for Pleasure as usual. all of your great information. And coming up next, Mark has a look at what's happening with your local weather forecast along with our newest weather person, Braden. I have a feeling that he might be showing both Mark and I up on our weather skills today. We'll, we'll check in with them next.